This is News Clip. Melbourne man Jack Thomas has been found not guilty of receiving money from Al-Qaeda. It means he's now been acquitted of all terrorism charges. But he was found guilty of the lesser charge of holding a falsified passport. Joining me now is Sky News Melbourne Bureau Chief David Lipson. David, it must be quite a relief for Jack Thomas and his family. Suzanne, good afternoon again. Jack Thomas mouthed the words thank you to the jury once the verdict was handed down after two days of deliberations. He then very emotionally uh, hugged his family in the courtroom. It's been an unbelievable journey for Jack Thomas, an awful journey for him. When you think back to 2006, a couple of years ago, he was led away from the court in shackles. He was taken uh, to Victoria's toughest prison, the maximum security wing of that prison. A accused of trying to set up a terror cell here in Australia on behalf of Al-Qaeda. Now, of course, he was actually uh, acquitted of those charges. He was found not guilty of those charges uh, at a previous trial. But at that trial, he was also found guilty of, of two other charges, um, which then eventually were, were quashed themselves. They were overturned uh, because uh, the, it was found that uh, the interview that Thomas had given was given under duress. But nonetheless, the Crown did launch another trial, and that's what this trial was all about. It, 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 there were two charges that uh, Jack Thomas was facing, one being uh, having a, a falsified passport. He's been found guilty of that. But the much more serious charge was the charge of uh, receiving money from Al-Qaeda and he has been acquitted of that charge. So have a listen to what his lawyer had to say outside court. He has now been acquitted of all terrorist related charges um, and obviously that's uh, a matter of great satisfaction to him and to those of us who represented him. Jim Kennan there, uh, Jack Thomas's lawyer. Now, this trial, the most recent trial, relied entirely on two interviews that Jack Thomas gave, uh, one to the ABC's Four Corners program, another one to a Fairfax journalist. And uh, in those two interviews, uh, Jack Thomas actually himself w was the one giving evidence uh, in, in this trial because it was his face that appeared uh, uh, on the video screen from when those interviews took place. And he described described his time at a Taliban training camp in Afghanistan, which was actually run by Al-Qaeda. He described the three occasions that he saw Osama bin Laden in the flesh. Now, after September 11, he says uh, that he was desperate to get out of Afghanistan. He went through Pakistan, and that was when he received $3,500 US, about $5,000 Australian, and a plane ticket home from a suspected Al-Qaeda operative, Khalid bin Atash. But Thomas's legal team in this trial argued that uh, that money originally had come from Pakistani sympathisers, people who were sympathetic to the Taliban, and that Bin Atash had actually hijacked that money in an attempt to get Thomas to uh, set up this sleeper cell in Australia. But uh, Thomas claimed he never had any intention of doing that, and in the end that is the, the, the story that, uh, that the jury believed. And Thomas has, has walked away with a guilty, ch uh, one guilty verdict, one guilty uh, charge, that of having a falsified passport, which is so much less serious than the other charges he was facing previously. David, the verdict has in fact prompted a call for a review of Australia's anti-terrorism laws. Well, that's right. Because of the, uh, the conditions that Jack Thomas has been put through over the last couple of years, both in jail in Australia and also in the courts here in Australia, his lawyer says that there should be a review of Australia's national anti-terror laws. Have a listen. With a lot of other barristers, we are concerned about the terrorist laws and we are concerned about the erosion of civil liberties. And I think this country needs a Bill of Rights uh, and you only have to read the decisions of the English judges in the House of Lords to see that they take uh, rights very seriously in Europe uh, and I think there is scope for a Bill of Rights in Australia. I think the continual erosion of rights, not just in respect of terror but in respect of other things is a matter of genuine and community concern. Interesting comments there from Jim Kennan, SC, Jack Thomas's lawyer. Of course, there was no comment from Jack Thomas himself. He was taking no chances this time. After his last uh, trial, he did, of course, give an interview, and, uh, or two interviews, and those interviews are what got him into trouble this time. So make mo no mistake, he will not be making any comment following this trial. David Lipson, thanks so much.
Thanks, Suzanne.